So Martha Bonetta is the chairman, uh, she is the chairwoman, excuse me, of America First, working, uh, uh, helping get the president reelected. A great gal, one of our favorites here on the show. And you tell me how much you love Martha Bonetta because she's always positive. She's always up. She's a, she's a gal. She supports the president. And she came all the way up from Washington. Now her buddy Jeff Webb will be, be with us as well. But Martha, thanks for coming all the way into the thank studio. Thank you so much. And thank you for everything you do for America, for our great nation. Uh, what, a, what a blessing to be with you. And you know, I want to thank you for getting the vote out. Trying. It is. We, we have to get the vote out. There is so much at stake right now. And you I, know, never say, I never say no to you. You know that. Yes, yes, so. yes. Thank you. <laughs> I love that. I like that. Okay, everybody's heard that. She's my buddy, right? Here. I love that. You're still married, right? Yes, okay. yes. Uh, see yes. how bad I am. So, <laughs> Look at Al. Al gets so sad. Of course, I go there. George is laughing. So, I'm kidding. It's, yeah, I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah. Can I, so, am yeah. I allowed to say that? Of course. Thank yes. You. Okay. So, so, uh, so, but basically, Happily there's, married. there's so yes, there's so much. <laughs> listen, there is so much at stake. You know, you're, look, you're so serious and you're so right. Forgive me. Yeah, no, so, no, no, it's no. getting late in the yeah, day no. for there's, us. There's so much at stake. <laughs> and because think about what's on the line yeah. all across our great nation. I know. But you fight. You're at the White House all the time, yes, girl. Yes. And so are you. Let me tell you something. Well, that that time at the Italian yeah. uh, acknowledgement that the president gave every year. And it just keeps getting better and better. You know, that, Andrew Giuliani mm-hmm. and Zevia's beautiful wife yes. is a great guy. Yes. He's, he's very close to the president. Yes. He told You know the story. Mm-hmm. So they did the executive office building the last year mm-hmm. and with Kellyanne Conway and Mayor Giuliani. And Secretary of State Mike Pompeo mm-hmm. came over respectfully, which is great. I'm a huge Mike Pompeo fan. Then this year, Andrew says to the president, you know, Mr. President, he goes, what should we do now? I want to take it up a notch and I want to bring the Italians. But not just like famous Italians. All the Italian Americans that work within the communities around the United That's States of right. America, the president understood that because I remember I was on with my friend Neil Cavuto, who yes. I love. I yes. love. And Neil said, "Who was there?" I said, "Well, Mario Andretti was there, Kelly and Conway right. was there, Steve Scalise was there, yes. representative from Louisiana, a hero that uh, he is, a great man yes. that he is." But I said, "But you know what?" Neil said, "There's a people from all over the country that that I see every day: Angelo Vivolo, mm-hmm. the folks from National Italian American Foundation, all the it. good folks, uh, Johnny Viola. These are people that works. Madison Jesse Otto, yes. your buddy." down there yes. Madison came down with her parents that's right, that's and right. I'm saying these are all Italians that you don't the president understood we never get credit that's right and I'm a foot away from the with my son Joey oh, how great I was love that? that how that's great so is that beautiful. so I yes. appreciated that yes. so it really resonated that, and he went all out he welcomed President Mattarella from yes, Italy that was a big deal and, but they put food out for mm-hmm. us we, we get no respect yeah, that's right. you, know, you yeah, know that respect. that's right you heard you're going to Italy with us next yeah, time yeah so next year listen Uh-oh. okay first of Uh-oh. all Uh-oh. I heard about this cruise and I heard about it too late now the, well, that's a media I, research I, center you could you should be on that yes you be yes, on that yes anyway. 100%. Yeah. And I heard about this cruise. Let me tell you, people had such a good time. I'm jealous. I didn't get to go. I'm watching them with all of their pictures, all of these great videos. It was a lot of fun. I mean, talk about a good time. I'm I'm the first one to <laughs> sign up. Count on me. I'm coming. I wouldn't miss it for anything. Martha, I want to talk to you about Virginia politics. Yeah. Tell me about your 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 farm. I, so, I keep seeing pictures of yes. you on a tractor. Yes. Lots of pictures They're of me on a tractor. Great pictures so of how, you. So how I got into politics well, was, How'd you get on a tractor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you. So how I got into politics was fighting for our family farm. Mm. We're fighting for our family farm. You know, I heard about this, yes. but that was a big fight this you had then. This was a big then. deal. Tell it us made, about it that. It made national and international yeah, news. Yep, I remember. You know, when when the bad guys want want to want to take away your land, they don't have to uh, regu- They don't have to come with a bulldozer. They can just regulate you off your land. And property rights and freedom are inseparable. They really are. I mean, freedom stands on the shoulders of property rights. The ability to own thank land, you, to own your you. little piece of dirt God all bless over you for that. all yeah. over the country. Yeah, yeah. And so they came after us. And and my father, God bless him, he's in heaven now. My dad said, "Now's the time that we fight," and we did. We fought 10 years. We beat the bad guys. They tried to take the land away. They tried away. to take the land. And because now, of your political beliefs, do you believe? I believe that had a lot yeah, to do yeah, with it. Yeah. I really do. And um, it turns out it was a land grab by, uh, wow. it was a land grab. They wanted our family farm. And we fought, we won. There's two bills named after. I'm so honored to have two pieces of legislation, the Bonetta Bill 1 and 2, that protects small, hardworking family farmers, protects our ability to make a living on the land. And that from there, I became fully entrenched in in politics. Yeah. I mean, I have a law degree, but, and I worked, uh, and I've always been interested in politics, but having to fight to save mm-hmm. my farm really just thrust me into the, the national, yeah. um, the, the national spotlight. And I use my voice now to really advocate for lifting up great candidates into office. Yeah. Because, I mean, that is so important that we no. put people into office that, that love America, that are going to fight for the hardworking American people, mm. more freedom, less regulation. So, yeah, so, but there's so, so much online right now. Tell us what's happening in Virginia, because in that's Virginia, the way. What happened oh, yeah. with the governor in blackface? Oh, what happened boy. to the lieutenant governor? Exactly. 
Yeah. How easy, if if how they were easy. Republicans, they would have been wiped out. Correct. There's so much on the line in Virginia. We have a, a sitting governor that, that advocates for infanticide, the murdering oh. of babies after they're born. Uh, he's the guy that said, yes. oh, well, you could decide oh, after yeah. the baby's born whether you oh, yeah. want the baby and to live or not. he's doubled down. He's doubled down. I mean, at that point, it's just murder. I mean, let's call it what it is. We have so much uh, so much on the line in terms of um, having lower taxes, a strong military, securing our border, Second Amendment rights, great health care. I mean, taking care of our vets in Virginia, yeah, in the Commonwealth of Virginia, you. I think has probably more veterans per you know mile than than any place else in the country, and we have to protect them. Everything is on the line, uh, just as it is all over the country. On on today when you vote, I want everybody to go out there and vote. Bring your friends, bring your family. <laughs> you know, go out there vote. Everything's on the line, and you know, vote vote Republican because how, how, we're going to protect people's freedom. And why doesn't the press? I think I know the answer to this. Mm-hmm. Covered this whole the uh, Northam thing down there, the Virginia governor right. who. The black face, he got away with it. He did. Justin Trudeau gets away with it. And then yeah. the lieutenant governor had some, I, I don't know about these allegations anymore. Who I don't knows? know what to believe yeah, anymore. Right, so right, you got to right, give right. the guy the benefit of the doubt, sure. I guess. Sure. But still, anybody else, look, they go after the president for things that are non-existent. Exactly, exactly. I mean, and with regard to the governor, there's a picture of him in his yearbook. Yeah. Um, and he doesn't deny it. It's, it's as yeah, if it yeah, never yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, it's just unbelievable when you think about it. Now, if this was, look, if this was the president, they, they, that's all they would talk about 24 hours a day, seven days a week. But it's as if it never happened because that's the fake news media. I know. And objectively, just objectively. Yeah. And then you, you're with the president. You see the I saw that yes. you just had a, piece, a picture the other yes. day, day before yesterday yes, yes, with yes. President Trump. Yes. And I saw him stand. Everybody's just got to settle down. I want to put aside the divide. They go, yeah. Joe, you're a Trump guy. Yeah. Uh, and, and it's not so much that. It's just being pro-America. Pro-America. Just, and, and if they had somebody else on the other uh-huh. side that made sense, that was patriotic. Mm-hmm. But they do. She's too liberal. But Tulsi Gabbard could give the president. He, she wouldn't she win. Impre- she's been impressive, I'm I telling to say. you. Now, but she's too liberal. Yeah. But, yes. But, yes. But, but she's smart. They don't want to even acknowledge no. it. They're going with Bernie, who has Elon Omar say, oh, the, we want to stop Western imperial, right. imperialism. How dare that That's woman exactly say right. that? Exactly she's right. in the House of Representatives. It's, it's, it's so egregious that... AOC is the face of the Democrat Party now. I mean, that, that's all you need to know. And and really influencing Nancy Pelosi. Really influencing. Well, Nancy Pelosi her. said, now we said it on this show, and then I heard the White House saying it's true. Yeah. First and foremost, there's homeless to a yes. degree we can't even imagine in San Francisco. Yes. There are fires burning. Adam Schiff and Nancy Pelosi yeah. don't even show up in no. their districts. They don't, they, they don't want to live there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they they yeah. don't even want to live yeah. in their own district because yeah. it's it's just falling apart. It's politics. So you feel, and and the good thing about the, the president too, when you vote for the president, we, we don't talk about the judges that he has put in place. We're celebrating 150 judges. Woo! 150. That's so Think about important. that. So important. Think about that. Districts all around the United States. Districts all around the United yeah, States. Yeah. The, and, and for every new bill, I want everybody to remember this, for every new piece of legislation, mm-hmm. he's getting rid of, on average, 21. 21 regulatory bills that, that overregulate the American people. Yeah. So whether you like the president or not, at the end of the day, our economy is booming. Unemployment is at an all-time low. The stock market is doing well. You know, our borders are becoming more secure. We're producing, we're talking about energy dominance. Mm. We're producing mm. More oil than anyone in the world. Yeah, I know. How about that? More than the Saudis. I know. How about that? And, you know, so, I mean, there's so much to celebrate. Those 150 judges, everybody after they vote should go out and celebrate. Took out Baghdadi, took out the number two. That And that's only the president. And people, and I say to you, uh, listening, and I really, it's hard to say to be objective, but it is, it comes from an objective overview. You, you forget when Barack Obama, no disrespect to President Obama, I gave him credit the other day on Fox News, uh-huh. I said because he said something about the woke uh, generation and he right. was very right about that. But do you remember the Jordanian pilots being burned? That poor yes. pilot was being burned. The, the beheadings, Jihad Johnny, that was front and center yes. and scary. Now, cut to 70 miles south of Arizona, mm-hmm. a family of six are killed and tortured and destroyed. A beautiful family who was a religious family. Yes. Is yes. Was it a mistaken identity? This is why Gosh. maybe the wall is not such a bad thing. Martha, yes, hello. it's just common. And I'm not, I'm not gaga. I'm not, you know, oh, you got to do this. Sure. And, and yes. I'm not demanding. Uh-huh. I'm objectively looking at what that's keeps right. us safe as a people in the country you're, of America. You're 100% correct. And let's, let's talk about the fentanyl that's pouring in from yeah, our borders, too. I mean, we, we know this is the first president that has taken this this epidemic that we have across our country, and he's yeah. actually doing something about yeah. it. And, you know, uh, every day before we go to bed, over 200 people die from fentanyl. Yeah. So I mean, that, that's what we should problem. be talking about. Yeah. 
The mass, the mass yep. murder, USMCA, is that going to pass or not? No. You know, listen to this. If it was any other president, it would have passed by now because the Democrats will tell you it's good for our yeah, country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody agrees yeah. it's good for our nation, yeah. but they hate this president more than they love America. I know. So they just, they just want to shut down everything that he wants to do, even if it's good for America, because they hate him more than they love yeah. our country. Isn't that sad? Well, thank, listen, thanks for coming in. Thank thanks you for checking so in. You, you, you are just all over the place. Yes. Thanks for coming in Washington. We were down there. Yes. And, now, and then Jeff Webb is mm-hmm. coming in. He's a, an entrepreneur, and he's got some great initiatives uh, trying to put the right people into office. Tell us where we can find you, because I yes. get the most positive comments when you come on the show. Thank you so much. No, everybody loves your positive yeah. energy. You, you know, know, I love America. I, I, thank, I thank God every day for the privilege of being oh, an God American yeah. and to be alive for such a time as this. Yeah. I mean, how lucky are we to be alive for yeah. such a time as yeah. this? So it's true. amazing. Um, I can be reached at uh, www. Dot Martha Bonetta dot com. Um, I get so I get about eight hundred emails a day now. I get to wow. them eventually. Wow! But yeah, um, but it's uh, I, it's a privilege. I, I love it. I love I love our country, and I and I love knowing great Americans like you. No. You're doing great things yeah. every day, and I just want to thank you so much. Uh, you're just you're an inspiration, and you're you spirit. I so appreciate the positive spirit. Oh. God bless you. Thanks thank for letting you. me kid with you. I'm, I'm hoping bit, one of these days you're going to run for office. Yeah. America needs Joe Piscopo. Know. People, they see America it needs Joe Piscopo. Oh, I you know it's it, what you put yourself on the line to do anymore but uh yeah. we're having fun the platform is just yes. on the radio but and, and and again it's not like one side or the other it's just what's exactly. right for, for right our, for america yeah, it's so america true. first taking care of our people keep the fight girl god bless we you we love Thank you, you for everything you do love no, you too love you too